Namaste creative yogis. How are you all doing out there? I hope you all had a gorgeous week and you got to enjoy the full moon and got out there and played and um, cleansed your crystals and set your intentions and all that sort of stuff and it's actually a full moon in Scorpio this year, uh, this month and it's also, um, which is the water element and it's called the pink moon which is very appropriate because it's very much about a deep dive into ourselves and, and clearing away what no longer serves us. That's kind of the general energy of the month. But we've also had, on the 1st of May, the solstice. And this year, the, the solstice has been, the focus has been celebrating the Divine Feminine. So there have been festivals all over the Northern Hemisphere, really massive festivals um, at sites of um, the, the goddess sites, you know, the, the, the very sacred feminine spaces. So Glastonbury was a big one, of course, with Stonehenge, but also in, in Greece there was a big festival in Delphi, which I think is still going on, and it's got um, Shiva Rays there and um, Krishna Dash and all sorts of really, really amazing yogis um, are, are celebrating the Divine Feminine at the moment. And the, and the big kind of conversation that's going on is about how, you know, in the past, our collective past, we've had to really... Um, dive into our divine masculine side, you know, really focus on drive and ambition, stamina, strength, in order to move our culture forward. But now what's, what's shifting is bringing back the divine feminine wisdom and incorporating that into our lives and so celebrating that and letting go of how we had to kind of squash that kind of side of ourselves in order to focus on the masculine energy. So this month is an opportunity to go in there in ourselves and break free of that programming and conditioning that was put in place for a reason, but now it no longer serves us. So it's a really empowering month, really beautiful, which is why I like the idea of the pink, the pink of the pink full moon. That's just fabulous, you know, the pink moon. So one thing I've just recently discovered from my... my um, my research into Ayurvedic wisdom, actually the five elements, is that way, way back in the day um, in India, when people were were sick, they would go to the temples to get the healing because that's where um, the healers were. And when they arrived at the temple, they went on a pilgrimage, which was designed specifically for the for for, for the person who was on their healing journey. So they would start off with that cathartic letting go things so they would be still and they would meditate and they would breathe and then the practitioner the Ayurvedic practitioner would figure out what element they were out out of whack with so whether it was fire water earth air ether um, and also their doshas and have a look at all of that and then they were prescribed a particular journey through the temple to get to the heart of the temple and at the heart of the temple was the gymnasium which is where the sacred movement happened. And this is where yoga was birthed, was in the space, in the heart of the temple. And the sacred movement was dance. And so it was very inspired by the divine feminine wisdom. And that's where yoga was born, was in that divine feminine energy, that creative spark. And so what a lot of us are doing, and myself included, is bringing back that dance, that feminine side of yoga back into the equation because yoga reflects the world that we live in and we've needed to really learn to be strong, to be full of stamina and strength to deal with the world. But as I say, as we're coming back into balance and celebrating and seeing the value of the feminine again, we can also start to weave in this feminine wisdom into how we move our healing practice our lovely yoga. So what that translates to um, in class with my students is working with these beautiful flows and I've already posted up a couple of them for you to give a go but I'll keep doing that for you. It's really starting to really get your movements to be fluid and organic. You flow from one pose to the next. It's, it is still vinyasa flow but there is definitely a dance feel to it so that you really get into your creative expressive side as you're doing your practice. So I'll keep posting them over to inspire you to give, give things a go. 
um, the asanas will be very familiar to you, but it is just approaching the yoga in a dancey way so that you're connecting to your feminine side. And it's just gorgeous. And it doesn't matter whether you're masculine or feminine. This is about getting into balance, having both of those energies in balance in yourself. So it's really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful month. Just an amazing opportunity to be inspired and to clear away that stuff that no longer serves you so that you can really dive into life, you know, and be your full, full authentic self. That's what I find when you do this. You, you move differently, you carry yourself differently, you speak differently because you're coming from your empowered real self, you know, rather than um, the straight jacket itself, <laughs> you know, that's kind of how I felt anyway when I started to clear this away, stuff that just made me kind of fit into a box which wasn't really me, just breaking away from all of that. Alright, so I'm going to choose a card for you today, Oops, a couple just fell out there so I'll just I'll take those, oh we've got three, let's have a look, wow. Conclusions are within reach. There you go. Conclusions are within reach. That's for somebody out there. So perhaps you're working on something and something's coming to a conclusion. Um, a new romantic cycle begins. Woohoo! Somebody out there is meeting somebody new. That's exciting. Good on you. And, and this one. Um, <laughs> work through your fears and it's actually got the Scorpio there which is exactly what this month's about that was at the bottom of the deck there and this card fell out um, as well so you've got a few messages today so believe in the impossible the blue moon I love this card so this is the power of intention you know believe it and it will be you know it's, it's about really genuinely believing that your dream will come true, that you are a manifester, that you are that magical being that can create your own life, you know, that you can live the life that you want. You know, we do go through ups and downs with that. We feel doubt, especially 